Why would anyone spend money on anything that they hate? And do I hate this gold American Eagle? Well, the answer to that question is no. So why am I showing it? Well, because there's plenty of others that look just like this that I do hate, and I ended up buying one. I'll explain as we explore. <laughs> It's not too often in life that we can think about things that we spend money on that we absolutely despise. You know, one can make the argument that it's no fun buying a transmission for your car if the old one went out or unexpected expenses of any kind. We hate to spend money on those things, but we do it anyway, mostly out of necessity. But this is not the case here. It is really uh, an incident of opportunity that makes its way through, but uh, otherwise it would not occur. And I think those are exceptions that can be made in other parts of our life too. Uh, I think in many cases, some of us would buy things uh, in order to defeat inflation or to fight it because the dollar has lost so much value uh, over the course of the last few years. Uh, that's on top of the already targeted loss of value of 2% that the dollar has lost about 97 to 98% of its value since the inaction of the act that created these notes. This is the Federal Reserve note. So we have to spend money on some things that we don't really want to or even hate at times um, in order to fight inflation. And in some cases, buying gold is one instance where that uh, could happen. But I think most of us here could... Uh, you know, make a cogent argument that we don't hate gold. We actually like the metal. No question about that. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of the gold American Eagle, I think it's a fine coin. And uh, I think it's the most popular, obviously, of the gold coins out there. So when I hold this in my hand, I bought this because I wanted to. Uh, and this is the type two American gold eagle. But there is a version of it that I absolutely despise, that I did make a purchase of, and here it is. You have actually seen this coin on my channel before. Uh, I bought this coin. Uh, why did I make a purchase of a graded coin? Well, for those of you who are familiar with this channel, you already know the answer to that, but I'm gonna recap here because I absolutely despise, I hate modern graded coins. I think that bullion coins like this should be excluded from grading. In fact, modern coin grading itself, I see as a scam. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that here later too, but uh, this coin here is an MS70 pedigree coin. In other words, this thing should sell for pretty good uh, amount above spot price, uh, considering it is a MS70, which is perfect. See, that's based off of the Sheldon scale, which itself is outdated because the Sheldon scale was originally intended for large cents and, uh, and only those. And so it's a 70 point system and essentially now NGC as a grading company has moved for modern coin grading to a 10 point system, which essentially is just a rehash of the old Sheldon, uh, Sheldon grading system. There's really no difference. It's just the numbers have changed, which makes it all the more much of a scam or a or, you know, it, I know that's a strong word, but it just, I'm not a fan of it. I think it's, it's, a, it's a hype, it's a hyping mechanism. Uh, but this coin really has no value uh, outside of the, uh, in the slab than it does outside of the slab. And I actually have proven that at a local coin shop. When I took this coin to the local coin shop, uh, they mentioned to me that they would not give me anything more than what they would for a regular 2023 gold American Eagle. To them, it was all the same. <clears throat> I think that's the case. They have produced so many of these things and it, it's uh, the grading, they just they just glance over and they just slap a, uh, a sticker on it with a grade and either 69 or 70. It's gonna be one of the two. And obviously there's less 70s, but there's not that much less 70s. Uh, you know, the way that the modern grading system is, <clears throat> it seems like it's done in mass and done so frequently that it just depends on who orders these. Some big bullion dealer 
uh, could say, well, I want this many 70s and I want this many 69s. And then they sell the 70s for a pedigree, for a premium, and people uh, fall for it and buy it. And they think they've got something special here. But in reality, it's not special at all. In fact, I, you can't really tell the difference between a 69 and 70. In fact, I have found many flaws in 70s. Uh, and more likely, if I wanted to take the time, I could find them here. Uh, but I'm not going to do that other than this one is, is struck off center. Uh, which, as you can probably see there, it's a, the rim is thinner here on this side than it is that side. But they do not gray based off of the rim, which I think is another travesty because that's part of the of the coin and part of the imperfection that we see so often in American coins. Uh, but uh, graded coins, I think, are awful uh, for modern coins, and not necessarily for older coins. And I'll give you another example of another coin that I hate. Yes, indeed. And it is my favorite coin, my favorite gold coin, in a slab. And this is a 69, uh, 2009 Ultra High Relief uh, gold coin. Now, this coin, there's really no difference between it and a 70. This thing looks spectacular. I could probably break this thing out of the holder and send it back to NGC, and it might get, probably would get a 70. Uh, it's a very nice coin. But why did I buy this coin? Same for the same reason I bought this coin. I got this coin, though, at spot price at the time. That's right. It was one of those nationwide or or one of those companies. I forget. I think it was a different company. And they offered this thing at spot or a little above spot. And it's like, I'm on that, like fried on rice. I don't know if that's the phrasing or not, but something to that effect. But uh, yeah, it's, 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 if you're going to get a, a coin for very little above spot or spot price, you don't care what the packaging is. In fact, the idea that it is encapsulated, I think, is fine because it's going to protect the coin. But I don't give two poopies about the grade. None at all. And look at this scam. Early release. Who cares? They used to call these things first strikes. In fact, here is an earlier PCGS coin that I got for a near spot price. And it was called first strike at one time. That was a scam. And they changed it to early releases, which really doesn't matter because it's really about which one is on the, which one comes off the die first. That's the best strike is going to be the first strike. But they don't know whether it's a first strike or not. And what do they designate as a first strike? Usually that has to do with the die. But the first strikes and they are loosely interpreted to the coins that are being struck first in the batch. But if the, it could be the last before the die wears out and it could be an awful coin. But nonetheless, this is another example of a coin <clears throat> that I paid uh, the regular price for. In other words, with a regular um, um, a premium of, above spot. And it doesn't matter whether it's a 70 or 69. <clears throat> Here's another example of a coin that I got for very, very close to spot price. And uh, it's a 69. And there and here is a 70. Same, same, uh, same series of grading with the same uh, graphic on the on the car on the sticker there, but there it is. Uh, these coins are paid pretty close to the same premium for sixty nine or seventy. It matters not. It's all the same. So graded coins. So and when you can get a coin for close to spot, you hate you hate the coin because it's in this slab. But there it is, and that's what I did. So always buy the coin, not the grade, no matter what. Uh, and even if it's classic American coins, uh, that's what you should be doing. <clears throat> that's the only way I will buy a graded coin, a modern graded coin. Uh, this is separate from classically graded coins. But if I can get it for spot, I'm going to make the purchase. So that is the that is what I did here. Now, uh, my good friend Silver Heist, uh, he loves gold and silver coins of all kinds. But he also bought a coin that he hates. So I'm going to link to his video uh, down in the description below. So make sure to check out Silver Heist coin. And uh, if you want to see um, other coins on my channel that uh, and me talking about modern coin grading, you can probably just search. I've done several videos on this topic before, but I feel very strongly about modern graded coins. And uh, so it's not very often that you will see me uh, buy these things unless I can get them for uh, a regular price above spot, um, a normal price above spot, um, or at spot price. And that's exactly what happened here. So there you go. Let me know what your thoughts are about this, about this video. 
and you can search my channel for graded graded or modern grading and probably see a couple of videos pop up if you want to hear more about that but nonetheless there you have it it's always good to have some gold in your portfolio no question about it and it's always good to keep stacking gold and silver so again check out silver heist video on the silver coin that he hates but he bought it anyway so i'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch this video and to encourage you to please rate share comment and subscribe